it. Got it. Good. It's all electric. We're, we're testing it out, some new uh, equipment on it today. Lithium powered. Hi everybody, it's Emily and Clark. Uh, we're not on Temptress today. No. Uh, this is our friend Andrew, and he has this really cool Duffy. Uh, it's like the African Queen. Uh, this one's electric. In fact, they're all electric. All Duffies are electric. Yep. This one, as of now, is lithium. So we're going to tell you how to do a lithium conversion of an electric boat. He bought this Duffy, and he's fixing it up to sell. Yes. So it's for sale. And this is a particularly good one because... It's all electric. And? And it's all upgraded to lithium. Yep. <laughs> We've done a lithium conversion and it has my bank manager approach to it, which obviously I think is a good way to do it. So the battery should last a, a little longer than normal. And we're gonna take it out today and play with it a bit. And then we'll show you how we did the conversion and uh, what the systems look like. So by longer, you mean like it'll run longer or the batteries will live a longer life? Well, mostly that the batteries will live a longer yeah. life because they're not cheap. So it's good no. to keep them living. No, they were not cheap. But it's nice uh, the boat needed batteries anyway. Right. So why buy the old technology? Silly too. You know, especially when you have the means of upgrading and now the technology, thanks to you, <laughs> for it to be easy to do. Sure. And going lithium, you could put enough batteries in this boat because weight isn't an issue yeah. and there's space to literally like start out in the morning and, and have it be dark All by the day. time you come yeah. home. Yep. Yeah, so the old battery bank here was 300 pounds uh -huh. for 100 amps of batteries. The new ones are 73 pounds for 100, <laughs> for 100 amps of batteries. And, and it's only three of them. Yeah. <laughs> and you could go all the way to zero, more or less, where the lead, you could really only should go to 50. Right. So it's double the battery. You must have a running tally, Andrew. How much does this cost to do the conversion? Uh, so far, the conversion, so it, it, actually not that much. I think total with um, your system, the batteries, the book converter, and uh, we were able to reuse the old charger. Mm -hmm. Probably about 1800 bucks. Okay. Um, you didn't count your time in that too, of course. No, no, no. I didn't count any time. I'm talking about just hard cost. Yep, yep. What we've done is, first off, uh, the prime mover, the electric motor that drives this, inward electric motor right here, is uh, a 36 volt, in this case, electric motor. Big, beefy thing. Um, and a, a power supply, variable speed, you know, like you'd expect, just like if it was a diesel. And, all, but all the controls and the bilge pumps and the lights and the radio and all of that, that's 12 volt. So the thing won't work without 12 volt, but it needs 36 as well. So what we did is we took, um, I, I put a uh, respect for Andrew, he put it all in. I sat there in the other seat and told him what to do so I didn't have to hurt my back. But uh, we um, bought or put in what's called a buck converter. So it takes 36 volts and brings it down to 12 volts. So everything 12 volts has all the power it needs and the batteries are all being used uniformly. And then we put in a device that will look at each battery and it actually has the power to rob from here and put over here. So it keeps the batteries balanced since they're in series. And then we added my bank manager and just a wisp of lead batteries. Yeah, I was surprised that we only needed, <laughs> I mean, we'll just use those little seven amp batteries. But you know what's cool is it's kind of like on a motorcycle, you have a reserve on your tank. Yep. Now, if we're out and we're not paying attention, like, don't have range anxiety or forget. This <laughs> <laughs> is why you don't drink on a boat. Uh -huh. <laughs> we actually have backup. So yeah. if we did burn through all of the uh, lithium, we still have enough to get to shore on the, just those three little seven amp lead batteries. We haven't really found the range of the little batteries yet, but we played at the dock yesterday and we yeah. were both surprised how yeah, much we power. Yeah, we were like quarter throttle and it wasn't drawn, what, <laughs> yeah. eight amps or something, yeah. wasn't much. So you got that. You could always, of course, add more lead if you chose to, if you had them around. Uh, you just need that minimum amount to make the system work the way it needs to. And you could very easily add a lot of lithium, which would be the smart money. Uh, one could add solar panels, and I know if I owned this boat, it would have solar panels. It's got a nice uh, stainless steel uh, structure up there, so it'd be easy oh, yeah. to add the panels. 
and with the way this thing is miserly with power, you could probably do like three knots just under solar. You know, yeah. no battery at all. Yeah, we're drawing about 20 amps now at three miles an hour. I yep yep 20 because that's reading high. We got to yeah, fix yeah, that. I yeah, calculated. Got that. a Chinese device here. Yeah, <laughs> nothing against the Chinese. No, but their quality control isn't the always quality the best. Quality control, <laughs> like our food intake control. It's a trade-off. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are your plans for this boat? Are you keeping it? Or are you gonna? So the I, the idea is, I had never heard of a Duffy before, and I was working rebuilding the guy's dock on a private lake, and he had to sit in there. And of course, it's cool as heck looking. You know, I'm like, <laughs> see, what is, queen. I know, I'm like, what is the deal with that thing? And and he never used it enough to not have to just buy batteries every time he wanted to go out. And so he said, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get rid of it and get a pontoon boat. I was like, well, I can help you find a pontoon boat. And he goes, well, I'll just sell you the old one. And I had no idea what they were worth. And we agreed on a price, which I was like, well, it's got to be worth at least that. And the idea was to fix it up and sell it. So my 14-year-old son went in on the investment. He's great at, uh, he likes to do flips and investing. So we went in on it together. Had I not done that, I would probably just keep it. Because uh -huh. <laughs> it is so cool. We live in a beautiful area, you know, lots of rivers to go down, you know, restaurants and stuff. Um, but we are we are going to sell it and we'll move on to something else. But man, I'll probably rest of my life go, man, I should have kept that stuff. Yeah, well, keep an eye out for another one. Keep an eye out for another one. <laughs> like not... you said, with with your building experience, right. like putting some wood on the top. Yeah, I really thought I'd make a cool make cutting cabin. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, or a full cruiser cabin, you know. Yeah, I, I like it just exactly where yeah. it is. And I just want to point out something. Do you guys watching this? We're moving. There's no motor. This is virtually silent. It's a little bit of ripple behind us because we're pushing kind of hard. It's just quiet and Well, peaceful. and we can hear the other boats around yeah, us. Yeah, we so. hear the boats around yeah. us. But. How big is this one? This one's 18, uh -huh. and it's an eight passenger. And now that we have lithium, we can actually carry heavy, heavier passengers. Yeah. <laughs> we can put on another 240 pounds or whatever. <laughs> You're right. It's sad, but you're right. <laughs> right. We can go to all the all-you-can-eat restaurants on the water. <laughs> yeah. I've sold over a hundred bank managers now, and for people that get back to me, they're mostly in sailboats because that's who knows. You know, that's why you guys are watching. Likely, statistically, uh, but a couple have gone into like cottages, 48 volt systems. Uh, a lot have gone into campers. There's some 24 volt systems. Well, this is the first 36 volt that I've even tested, and uh, very happy to see it works as it should. Um, but this is a very different thing. Now it's a prime mover, traction engine. It's yeah. actually it's doing power. work. Yep. And what it does, if you guys haven't been following this, maybe you got some Duffy people that found this video. Um, you can do a lithium conversion by just putting lithium batteries in and then changing all your charge controllers to ones that say lithium because you can't charge lithium like you charge lead. Problem is, all the chargers you can find really are lead chargers that they just wrote the word lithium on. They do a little bit with the curve where they don't do a high float, but they're still doing it the same way. I've searched, I can't find any chargers that solve one problem that'll kill your lithium in three to five years. That's called low current overcharge. Um, I designed mine, among other things, to solve that problem. And in this case, there was no need to have backup lead uh, for its security. There was no need for some of the other advantages of lead. The only thing we really needed it for is we couldn't find a charger that wouldn't hurt the lithium. So we set it up with this little bit of lead just to keep my system happy. And uh, now the lithium is getting a very nice charge every day. Yeah. So it's available as a choice to do this. There'll be links in the description below, of course, like there always are. I am. There'll be links in the description below to contact this guy, or you'll see the word sold, and you could buy this yeah, boat. Sold. All <laughs> converted. You know, Clark, I think you mentioned this before, but so in the case of a Duffy owner, it already has a, a lead bank system that's, you know, maybe getting some years on, but it still seems to be working fine. Yeah. They can just add the lithium to it because it's so lightweight. Well, that's why people are doing it on sailboats right now, because they have good lead systems and all the chargers and everything. And seriously, all you have to do is put lithium in your boat, hook it up to your lead, but hook the positive wire through my device, 
and then my device will use the lithium, then the lead, it'll it'll take care of everything for you. I think that's a key thing, because people are on the verge, like, well, my old batteries are still pretty good, but I really want to switch to lead. Yeah. You know, nobody's yeah. going to buy old lead, ba um, or lithium, but nobody's going to buy my old lead batteries, you know, and, you know, there's a, a big investment there. So I really like the idea of the solar. I, <laughs> I think whoever buys this, Maybe maybe I'll just offer just buy the parts and I'll put it on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just so I get to see it with the solar yeah. on. And you would upgrade the battery for anything they want. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I think you should too. But Andrew made a good point. This is why I've been browbeating him to put solar on the roof. Is uh, the new owner might have a boathouse. Yeah. In which case the solar doesn't do much unless you're out. Right. It's a good point. All right, that's it for today's video. Let's go get some lunch. Thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.